Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSWER student community, and I'm reading this discussion, Problem in Harmonics Acoustic, by, uh, I'll just call them um, KW. Looks like a difficult last name to pronounce. And uh, KW has been looking at an ANSYS video that shows how to take some uh, modal and harmonic response from structural and then put a body of air around that model and look at acoustic um, results from that. And uh, they got stuck at uh, this point. So I uh, also, and, and uh, KW is trying to do a tuning fork, so I attempted to do that myself because I'm interested to learn how to use acoustics and uh, it wasn't entirely straightforward but I have here a model that is the tuning fork and I've done the, the um, you know built the model so I've got some geometry and a mesh did a modal analysis with a fixed support on the bottom got my first modes at um, say 593 hertz um, and some more modes beyond that and then applied a uh, force a small 0.01 newton force so that I could get a uh, harmonic response which is the tuning fork motion at some small amplitude uh, around that 600 hertz uh, frequency that it rings at. And now we want to get acoustic results. And um, the way I went about doing that is I grabbed the uh, harmonic acoustics. Where is that? Right here. And I dropped it on this and say OK. I need some geometry, so I'm going to take this geometry in, but just uh, briefly, so I'm going to delete that geometry because I want to edit this. And you'll see what I mean by that is to uh, create an envelope around the tuning fork. It's the envelope of air. And then um, I'll use that envelope to uh, do the acoustics calculations on the air only and not the tuning fork itself. So here comes um, space claim and there is my tuning fork geometry uh, but I don't want these three solids. What I want is in prepare I want an enclosure and I want to enclose the three solids here and I'll uh, go out to uh, 20, 25, well just 20 millimeters on each side. I'll leave that at some smaller number and the last one is this one. So there's my uh, enclosure. I want to take the tuning forks out of the physics so I'll I'll select them and right click and say suppress for physics. So now only the enclosure which is it is the air is going to come over. Uh, I'm also going to take this air and uh, well I'll, I'll skip the slicing. If I slice this air up I can stay with a very efficient mesh that stays under the student limit. And that's what I did uh, for real, but for the purpose of video, I will um, skip that step. So we've got an enclosure, and now I'm going to exit uh, that and refresh to bring that air enclosure into the model environment. That'll just take a minute, and then I'll be bringing the um, solution from the harmonic response into the setup cell on harmonic acoustics.
and the uh, process will be to select the faces, the surfaces of the air that are touching the tuning fork uh, to bring in the, the velocity from this solution. So it's still working on that. Now it's brought it in. So I'll open up this model. And after the mechanical starts here, I've got uh, two mechanicals open now. Here's the second one. And F7 and go to wireframe. There's my uh, one single body, and the body is made of air, and it has faces on the inside that represent the tuning fork, and what I'm going to want, I uh, don't need this, this one anymore, I want to take the solution and bring it into setup, and hit refresh, and then in my uh, harmonic acoustics model, that created this imported load and the imported load needs some geometry and with the face filter and the uh, box the box select I can uh, pick those faces and import that load so that is good um, I did learn that uh, the mesh looks good actually um, one thing to be aware is under sizing if mesh defeaturing it can actually defeature away the tuning fork cavity which um, happened to me once when I was trying to get a very efficient mesh but for now that is uh, not a problem and uh, analysis settings will go from uh, um, 400 hertz to uh, 800 hertz uh, with 50 or 20 steps um, and that should let us uh, solve we want to also create the um, plane so we right click and insert some construction geometry and that is a surface and uh, we need a coordinate system a little higher up so we'll go for a coordinate system based on global coordinates but we'll push it up in the y uh, 25 millimeters and we'll uh, rotate it about x rotate about X by uh, 90 degrees and there's our surface uh, based on that new coordinate system there we go uh, so down here we're going to insert some um, like an SPL and we're going to insert that on the surface So we'll go ahead and uh, solve that. Oh, stop. We uh, forgot. Um, the other piece is the boundary conditions. We need the six faces. So uh, let's get off box select here. Maybe we can use box select to pick the faces. There's three faces there, and control three faces there, and we want a radiation boundary on six faces. We've got the load, we've got the acoustic region, solve. I guess we have to wait for oh, there we go so there is the uh, sound pressure level and um, 
you can do the far field stuff, but uh, in the interests of time, I will kill the video here. And um, well, we'll just do one. No, we won't. We'll just kill the video and uh, come back with questions. Thanks for watching.